Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and happy new year. I hope you all had a wonderful, ooh, <laughs> a wonderful Christmas and new year. I've just taken his toy off him because he was chewing it and I couldn't film because it was like a really loud squeaky one. And now he's trying to find out where I've put it. <laughs> I've got Lottie fast, well she was fast asleep next to me three minutes ago and the second I started filming she's now wide awake and laughing at me. So I mean, <laughs> I don't know how we're going to get on with filming this video today, <laughs> but we'll give it a go. Um, but I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and New Year. We had the best Christmas and New Year. It was so lovely having Lottie and Raffi, both of them here with us for their first Christmas. Um, but it was just so magical being together with our little family, with my family as well, and Lou's family, spending time with them, everyone just, like the joy Lottie brought to everyone's Christmas, didn't you? <laughs> She's just laughing up at me. <laughs> didn't you? But yeah, it was just the most wonderful Christmas and New Year. Well, I say New Year, we were in bed by 10.30 on New Year's Eve, well, asleep by 10.30. Um, but I honestly wouldn't have had it any other way. It was just perfect we're just all snuggled up in bed and I just feel so grateful for how I'm starting 2024 I could not feel more grateful like I'm just yeah so happy so so lucky um and that's why I've been a little bit quiet I've been a bit quiet here and over on my Instagram as well just because I've just really been enjoying and soaking up every minute of having Lottie and just, yeah, just soaking up every minute of it and just taking a little bit of time out to just enjoy the festive period. But I am back with my first video of 2024 and I thought I would do the same video I did for my first video of 2023, which is my best buys of 2023. So just chatting through my sort of most worn, best sort of fashion purchases of the year. Just a disclaimer, some of these pieces may have been gifted as part of a collaboration, some of them I've purchased myself, um, but I, yeah, these are all items that I have used so much throughout 2023 and will continue to use throughout next year. Um, so, I'm gonna get straight into it. Obviously, everything I feature will be linked below in the description box, and if you do have any questions, leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible. But I am going to start off with probably my most used bag of last year. Definitely my most used new bag. I've got a few other like everyday bags, but this was definitely my most used new bag and it's this gorgeous Loewe tote. And I use this, I actually got it, I think I got it right at the end of 2022. It feels like ages ago now. Um, but where it was more like a sort of summery, I'd say this is more like a spring, summer, autumn bag. So I didn't really use it at the beginning of the year. And as soon as spring, spring arrived, I used this so much. I use it so much in summer. It's just the perfect like canvas tote. It fits lots in it. You can see it's got these two little slots at the back here. Um, and then it just fits loads in it. It's tan leather on the inside and then canvas on the outside. But actually, Considering it's canvas, it hasn't got marked or dirty at all. It's got one little mark there, but I feel like it would sponge off quite easily. Um, and then, yeah, just got like a little tie. The only thing I would say about this is that it hasn't got a zip enclosure, so you can't kind of zip it up. When I'm in London, I would quite like to make it a bit more kind of secure, but you can always put a dust bag inside it. Um, but yeah, I use this so much. I absolutely love it. It just goes so well with all of my like summer dresses with like, like just a simple like crisp white shirt and linen trousers that just adds that pop of something and I love the tan leather details on it as well and it has got long straps and short straps as well which makes it very convenient and then another bag and this one definitely won't be for everyone but this was my most used bag towards the end of 2023 and absolutely will be my most used bag this year and it is this changing bag from Tiba and Marl and this is just the reason I love this because it's just so practical I obviously got this in October after Lottie arrived and oh she smiles at me every time I look at her I can't you just melt my heart you just melt my heart um, yeah, I got this after Lottie arrived and I have used it every day since. Well, pretty much every day. 
when I'm out and about, sometimes I'm at home. Um, but it's just so practical, it holds so much in there. For me, this is the perfect size changing bag. No, we're not playing. <laughs> we are not playing. Ruffy, sit. No, down. Hey! Good boy. Good boy, stay there. We're not playing. We are not playing. <laughs> oh, bless him. Um, yeah, it is just so practical. So it fits so much in there. In fact, it's actually just cram-packed full of bits at the moment, but it comes with a little changing mat. It's obviously really convenient for changing on the go. And then it's just got so many compartments in there as well. So there's kind of like a zip here. There's like this little section here, which you can keep a, like it's insulated, so you can keep a bottle in there. I've got some little protein bars in case I get snackish when I'm feeding out and about. But it's got so many compartments in here. I've actually got some, um, these, I don't usually keep these in here. I've got these in here because I gave Lottie a bath at her Nana's, which is Louis' parents. Louis' parents are Nana and Pops, and my mum and dad are Nanny and Grandad. Um, she had a bath at Nana and Pop's house the other evening, so I've got some bath bits in my bag. But yeah, just so many compartments in here, and it's just super practical, and it comes everywhere with me. And I love the fact that Lou can use it as well, because it's just very kind of unisex. Um, it has got these pockets here. It's also got a long adjustable, uh, not pockets, straps there. Also got a long adjustable strap, so I can kind of chuck it on me when I'm holding the car seat and everything else, and being... Bag lady, Raffi, come on. <laughs> and then it has also got this little compartment at the front, which is actually detachable. I don't usually have this on there, but this is great if you just want to put kind of like wipes and some nappies in there. I think I've got nappies in there at the moment. Yes, yeah, so it's great if you just want to chuck a couple of nappies and then a small pack of wipes, and then you can kind of take it off and have that if you want it. Um, but it also works without that section on there as well. And yeah, it's just so handy. I have this on me at all times. It fits perfectly underneath the kind of push chair as well. And then it also has pockets at the side as well. So you've got a pocket here, and then you've got like a magnetic pocket at the back here as well. And then another pocket at the side. So super practical, isn't it, Lottie? Super practical and yeah. I'm just very happy with that. So I thought that definitely just needed a mention. It's definitely going to be one of my most used items this year as well. Lottie is now in her bouncer. So if you do hear gurgling in the background, that's why, but hopefully she's content for now. Um, but next up is a coat that I have been loving recently and have been wearing so much since I got it. And it is this gorgeous fleecy Sherpa teddy coat from Vali and this is just so cozy but I also think it looks chic at the same time like it kind of looks it looks good but it feels super cozy so I've just undone it and as you can see it's got a zip and then it's also got this row of poppers as well this bit is adjustable it's got a adjustable drawstring drawstring so you can cinch it in on the waist if you want to and then the collar is like really thick and snug and you kind of pull it up around your neck as well I wore this recently on, well, I've been wearing it a lot on beach walks where it's super chilly and windy, and this has been keeping me super snug and warm. It just dips up at the sides. It is lined on the inside as well, um, with like a kind of jersey fabric. Um, so obviously it's not water resistant at all, but it's just really cozy. And it's one of those pieces that you kind of leave on as well if you're going for coffee somewhere and you want to keep it on. It sort of works as like a coat and you can wear it indoors to keep extra snug as well. So I have been loving that. Okay, next up is a belt, and I wasn't too sure whether to include this in this video because there was a large portion of last year that this was definitely too small to fit around my waist while I was pregnant, um, but I did wear it a lot at the beginning of the year, and then since having Lottie, I've worn it a lot again, and it's just one of those pieces that um, I know that I will style a lot this year and for years to come, and I just feel like it's one of my best buys. So I wanted to include it and it is this wire cell belt. It is just such a lovely classic style. Obviously it's black leather and then it's got the thick gold um, buckle and then the wire cell logo. But I feel like the wire cell logo is quite subtle. This is the thinner one. I think there's two sizes. I will make sure I leave this exact one linked below. And I just think it's a really lovely belt. So much so that I'd actually quite like to get it in like a lighter beige. I would love it in a tan. But I don't think they do it in a tan, but I know it comes in like a beigey colour as well. So 
might think about getting that for spring summer and then sticking with Saint Laurent next up is another favorite of mine from last year and it is a brooch and I know that this, this is very simple and a lot of money for a tiny brooch but I do feel like this brings so much to my simple outfits I'm a very kind of like I like my kind of classic simple outfits neutral colors black blazer and jeans that's kind of one of my go-to obviously you know if you watch my videos it's one of my go-to looks just a jean just jeans and a blazer or something simple like that popping one of these onto a black blazer onto one of my winter coats it just adds that little pop of luxury a little pop of something and just that little special touch to a simple blazer or a simple coat um and i have just loved wearing this and obviously it goes over so many different outfits so you can chop and change it to pop it on different you can even pop it on like knitwear i just think it's really lovely and i feel like this again is the smaller size i think this comes in two sizes as well and this is the smaller of the two which i think for me is perfect it's just, it's just that little like i think any bigger and it would be too much for me personally um but yeah i've been loving that okay moving on to knitwear and i've got two pieces of knitwear to show you both of them are actually from and other stories um but these i'd say were kind of my most worn like newer pieces of 2023 and first up is this gorgeous cardigan and i just love this and i've loved wearing this and styling this this year the only thing i would say about this is that the sleeves are quite oversized so it can be a little impractical in fact i actually wore this to a baby shower last year and one of the activities was tie dyeing um, little baby grows and I had this on with the big wide sleeves and then white jeans and I thought I couldn't have picked a worse outfit so practicality wise maybe not the best but I just love it I think it's such a gorgeous cardigan really lovely quality I've just noticed I've got a little mark on it actually so that needs washing um, but really lovely quality it's great at the moment for breastfeeding something a bit lower rather than when I've got something like this on I've got to kind of like hitch it up um, and I love just the design of it. I love the thick ribbed cuffs, cuff, cuffs and the rib detail at the bottom. It's warm, it's soft, it's just lovely. Um, I don't know if this is still available. I probably should have checked. I did check the majority of these items and I think, I think almost all of them, apart from maybe this one, which I didn't check, are still available. Um, if this isn't, I'll find something similar, but I do know that And Other Stories do tend to bring out the same pieces year after year, so they kind of bring out the same knits, the same cardigans, the same shoes and bags and coats. Um, so hopefully this or something very similar will be available, but love this, wore it loads and will wear it again this year. And then the other piece of knitwear that I've been loving and wearing a lot recently, again from And Other Stories, is this gorgeous grey jumper and I did actually get this a little bit more recently this was kind of towards the end of last year but I did want to feature pieces that are still available in case any of you guys did want to purchase them and I know some of you get annoyed if I'm featuring things that are no longer available so this is it is a cashmere blend it's a wool and cashmere blend so it's so soft so warm let me just double check it is 70% wool and 30% cashmere um, so it just feels lovely and cosy on at the moment when it's freezing outside. Um, but it's just also just a great basic jumper. Lovely shade of grey. Works well with black jeans, black leather trousers, white jeans, just blue jeans, just everything. And um, yeah, I've been wearing this a lot. And I'd say it's kind of just one of those good um, staple pieces. It's a little bit more expensive, but will come out year after year and just can be styled so many different ways i feel like i say that so much in my videos but that is just kind of what i tend to go for i like pieces that i can wear and wear and wear again and style a lot okay next up is a bit more of a summer piece i tried to keep this video a little bit more kind of like autumn wintry just because obviously the time of year it wouldn't be that relevant if i was showing lots of summery pieces um but i couldn't not include this because i wore this again and again and again and again whilst i was pregnant um but also before i was pregnant it was just one of those pieces that i reached for day after day just to wear at home just to wear layered with knitwear over the top um it's so comfortable so it is this very simple black ribbed skims dress 
and when I say that this dress is worth the hype, like the skims pieces are just so comfortable. This is so stretchy and just was, it was just a joy to slide on when I was pregnant and my bump was getting bigger and bigger and I just wanted to stay comfortable. And I would say that I will wear it again this year, but I'm not sure how much life it's still got in it. Oh, I don't know actually, it's not too bad. I feel like there was a little hole that appeared at the bottom towards the end. I imagine that anyway it's definitely had its wear out of it um but i will still get some more wear out of it this year okay i've just got two more pieces to go and next up is a tracksuit and this is just pure comfort and i feel like it's kind of like having three pieces in one um so first of all this is the hoodie this is 100 percent cashmere and it just feels so beautiful and soft. I am just going to double check that it is 100% yeah, cashmere. It feels so lovely and soft. Um, and then also the matching bottoms as well. So these are a wide leg cashmere trouser. And again, just so comfortable. Um, and I actually got this set when I was pregnant as well. It fitted me when I was pregnant. It stretched with the bump. Um, but it also fits me perfectly now as well. And the reason I said three pieces in one is because this is a hoodie, but the hood is detachable. I've actually just realized I've popped it on back to front. So the seams on the inside, um, but the hood is detachable. So you can take that off and then you've just got a really beautiful ribbed cashmere jumper, which I also wear on its own with jeans, with leather trousers. It's just the perfect, <laughs> bless you bless you, <laughs> is just the perfect neutral tone of cashmere jumper. Again, one of those pieces that comes out year after year. Um, and then obviously the trousers as well. So you can wear the trousers with the jumper, you can wear the trousers with the hoodie, you can wear the jumper on its own, you can wear the trousers on its own just with a t-shirt and like a blazer or a jacket to kind of dress them up a little bit more. I just think that this is just, oh, I love it. I've worn it so much um, and Again, a bit more of an investment piece, but just that pure luxury to wear at home when I want to. I do spend a lot of time in leggings and a hoodie, don't get me wrong, but when I want to wear just something like a little bit more special and a little bit more kind of soft and cozy and comfortable, I love that. In fact, these bottoms that I've got on here are from Lily Silk as well. These are part of a tracksuit from Lily Silk. They've got a matching cream ribbed hoodie as well. I will leave that linked if that's still available, but I got this the year before last. Um, but yeah, love both of these equally. And then last but not least, before I get back to my little bubba who has been very patient as always. Honestly, she is just, oh, just the dream. <laughs> um, and my final favorite piece from 2023 is this gorgeous bomber jacket from Abercrombie & Fitch. And if you watch my vlogs, you will have seen, I got this in the cream and the gray. It was part of a collaboration with Aber Abercrombie and I ordered it in the cream and the gray. Um, I do love the gray as well, but I have just been wearing this one so much more. Um, it's just, I love the fabric of this one. It's kind of like a sort of textured boucle fabric. Um, which I just think makes it look so much more expensive. And I've just been chucking this on with jeans, with leather trousers. It's just so easy to just throw on and it really makes an outfit as well. Again, I know I say this a lot, but just t-shirt and jeans and then this over the top, it just makes it that little bit more kind of like chic and put together and it's just a lovely jacket. And it is still available at the moment as well. And it's warm, maybe not quite warm enough for this really cold weather we've got at the moment, but coming into spring, I feel like this will just I'll wear this a lot. There, all done. Thank you for being so patient. You are just the dream. <laughs> um, and that is all 10 of my best fashion pieces from 2023. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to know your favorite piece I featured. And if you've got a favorite fashion purchase from 2023 that you have worn so much um, and that you recommend, do leave a comment below and let me know. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And I will try to get back into the swing of vlogging and filming some more content. I know I've been a little bit quiet for the past few weeks, but like I said, I was just enjoying this one and this one. <laughs> Aren't I lucky? Aren't I lucky? Um, 
but I will try and get back into the swing of things very soon and be back with some more vlogs, some more fashion content, and yeah, just back on track, won't I, little one? Hey? Um, but yeah, thank you so, so much for watching, and like I said, Happy New Year, and I hope you all have a wonderful 2024, and I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye.